We're at the world famous K Rock. Welcome. Yeah. 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 Just by a show of hands and some noise. Any Royal Otis fans in the house? Yeah. Um, I mean, if you listen to K Rock, if you work at K Rock, definitely I think so uh, number one a breakout K Rock act last year. Seemingly came out of nowhere with that just infectious song, Sofa King. And now, of course, a part of the fabric of this radio station. We couldn't be happier to invite them here to the very first time. Royal Otis! Yeah. Yeah. Gentlemen. <laughs> Did you have the middle seat on the uh, airplane over? Is that why you don't want to be in the middle? I had a whole aisle, baby. Did you really? Yeah, man. You're yeah. making that Sofa King money now, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Well, uh, it is really cool, um, you know, we, we have so many uh, bands here at K-Rock, but it's rare to get to talk to a band that, again, kind of came out of nowhere. I didn't even know what you guys looked like when we first started playing you on K-Rock, and then just that song, Sofa King, took over the world. But I think what's uh, what's even crazier, more ironic, is you guys are so talented, Sofa King, of course, all over US radio, and then you do this little Triple J radio gig uh, in Australia, what, like two weeks ago. You cover Murder on the Dance Floor, and that thing is just nuclear right now. That's crazy. I just got an mm for the crowd. Have you guys seen that? Yeah. You guys know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Uh, over a million views online. Of course, you can stream it now. It's an official single, uh, you know, across streaming. Um, just, did you anticipate that kind of reaction? <laughs> no, no, no. Not in the slightest, man. <laughs> yeah, we, um, we had, we, yeah, we rehearsed it one day before we started doing it, so. We had about an yeah. hour to get it done, and then, oh. <laughs> so what happens, huh? Nice. Now, yeah. did did uh, did you guys come up with a bunch of different options of songs you wanted to cover? Were there any like uh, what songs wound up on the cutting room floor? We had a couple. We had um, <laughs> build me up, Buttercup. Okay. Why do you build me up? Which is sick, but um, didn't sound that good. And then we tried. What was it? That, <laughs> the hives. What was that? One? Oh yeah, the hives. But that was that was just for fun. We just like just... running through ideas. We're pretty. So we're getting kind of angry about it. And then someone honest. was like, just trying to live on the dance floor and we're like, you give it a crack and then it worked out. Well, I was going to say, if, uh, if Royal Otis doesn't work out, you know, the Hives have started a franchise program where you can actually be the Hives in your hometown and perform as the Hives. <laughs> really? Real. That's a real thing? That's a real thing. We'll do that. I'm just saying. He'll do that. Make a plan sure. B. <laughs> I quit right now. Um, <laughs> No, I thought uh, uh, kind of uh, something that piqued my interest is uh, if you guys have never seen Triple J, this radio station down in uh, Australia, they do Like a Version, yeah. which is this awesome series of cover songs, right? Yeah. And I know you guys were big fans of uh, DMA's version of Share, Believe, and, and yeah. I mean, they've even been covered. DMA's has been covered by, uh, I think, Sticky Finger. Yeah, I've seen yeah. that. You see yeah. that? Yeah. So if you could pick like a contemporary artist to cover, mm. say, Sofa King, who would you pick? Do they have to be a lot? Who they I now, you know? Uh, probably DMAs, I reckon. No, yeah. would. We'll we'll go like, what if we expanded go it to dead people? To dead people? Oh, oh. Sinead O'Connor. Okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, now, in terms of uh, inspiration, I, I was hearing uh, you guys tell somebody in an interview recently that you actually, your favorite uh, way to get inspired by music, and I don't know if this was a joke or not, but uh, is listening to music in the shower where you can't really tell what they're saying or doing. Yeah, people, yeah, it, so. A lot of people do that. But it wasn't a joke. Uh, no, no, no. Because I think there's a genius to that. Yeah, yeah. Because it's kind of, you just hear the tempo, you just kind of take note of how the song, the cadence makes you feel. Yeah, yeah. And you don't get lost in the weed, so to speak. You, you hear the melodies, but they're completely wrong once you turn the shower off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you come up with some sick shit thinking you're doing the reverb. Song. Yeah. Um, well, very cool. Um, and can you tell us a little bit about uh, Sofa King? Of course, we've been playing it, but we've never gotten to talk to you guys about this. I mean, this is all yeah. over Los Angeles radio every single day, seemingly on the hour every hour. Thank you for playing it. Well, <laughs> thank K Rock. Is Miles the DJ thank you, here? Yeah. Somewhere. Thank, thank you, K Rock. Huh? The good ear of the K Rock music team. Um, but uh, yeah, talk about how that song came about. Uh, that was <laughs> that was a demo Roy had. Yeah, um, I had it a while ago. Mm. I was actually because I'm good friends with the DMAs guys, and they were starting to take off, and I was like, I'm gonna take advantage of my friends, capitalize on it, <laughs> and I was like, tried to write a song that I thought would suit them, and then I was like, no, nah, it's better better for me, and then Otis and I started doing music, and I was like, it's actually better for Otis. Yeah. Mm -hmm. now, 
I, uh, I definitely got the vibe that you guys were doing your own thing and carving out your own lane when uh, you got a song with the word fuck in the chorus on US radio. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell that, you know, you guys were made in some factory somewhere. You were definitely speaking from the heart. And uh, I understand that that was actually really important before almost anything else in the creative journey of Royal Otis. Yeah. Is you guys just establishing your own sound yeah. before you really establish much of any sort of other identity. You don't mm -hmm. see that all the time in music now. You know, it feels like when a, a genre gets a label or an aesthetic becomes popular. There's a floor yeah, of sure. artists, yeah, yeah. you know, trying to cash a lottery ticket, so to speak. But yeah. you guys didn't want to do that. No. Nah. Like when we got together, that was like one of the things we were talking about a lot. Was just like making a sound and yeah. Yeah. And every, everyone was doing Tane Impala. Like everyone wanted in Australia, to do Tane Impala. At least. I don't know about here, but yeah, yeah. in Australia, a lot of people were trying to do Tane, oh, Tane yeah. Impala. And so we just we were like, <sighs> we got to steer away from that, you know. Even just like people here are hint of synth in like a song they go Tame Impala <laughs> in Australia I don't know about it it's my second day here so what do you what do you make of Los Angeles is this your first trip out here love it man don't, yeah. like, don't like it that much <laughs> <laughs> I love it. My sister lives here, so yeah. Well, I was gonna say, you guys, um, you know, knowing where you're, a lot of the, uh, if you guys don't know, they, for, not to speak for you, but you record a lot of your music, not so much in Sydney or a metropolitan area in Australia. You guys go north, kind of like into the mountains. Bone Bay, baby. Bone Bay. <laughs> so what is it like there? I mean, to, uh, to someone who's never been. So beautiful. Yeah. It's beautiful, yeah. but like summer, I, I want to avoid going there in summer because that's just snakes. Fucking yeah. everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> <Shut> <laughs> snakes. Wait, like actual snakes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh it's true, it's full. I thought you like didn't like the tourist snakes. crowd and you were calling them snakes. No, no, no. <laughs> that sounds itch, dude. <laughs> no, legitimate snakes. I don't feel comfortable anywhere. I, I have no idea. I've never been to Australia. It's amazing. But there's a bunch of snakes down there. Well, yeah, it's yeah it's venom, like... venomous snakes. Because you guys have snakes as well. But it's they're chill. They're Cute little rattlesnakes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if all snakes are chill here. Compared to Australian <laughs> snakes, yeah. Yeah. Uh, now, huh. uh, February 16th, your debut studio album is going to come out. Pratt's in pain? Yeah. Am I saying that right? What does Pratt's mean? Am I an idiot? It's, it means idiot. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's like, you, you know what that's about that, like when you, when you think there's somebody in the mirror and it's you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, it's kind of, um, yeah, it's like a, I don't know, it's like an English term for an idiot. I think. I oh, it quite literally is. I could, yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. Yeah. I should yeah. learn that term. Yeah. Well, I should learn it if that's yeah. true. But it's named after a pub we went to when we were recording. Is that where you? Is that different than the pub you met? Because didn't you meet yeah. at a bar? Yeah, yeah. We met at a bar, I yeah. think. It was a bar I was working. Oh, we, we say we that because yeah. it's the easiest thing to say. <laughs> <laughs> is that a made-up story for press? Yeah. yeah. Well, cause we, we definitely didn't meet in a bar. <laughs> 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 Um, something else I want to clear up. Did you guys, uh, did you guys form in 2019 or 2020? Andrew? 2019. 2019, yeah. Because those are vastly different years. <laughs> if you remember uh, what was going on in the world. Yeah, yeah. Actually, 20... Yeah. It was 2019, oh, yeah, yeah. I remember. Did you, did you, uh, well, it's curious, uh, did you find that when the world did shut down, did that, uh, like, hinder anything, or did that actually make you guys grow closer together? It saved us, I reckon. It saved us, yeah. yeah. So you would have gone too hard, too fast, and then... Yeah. yeah. As in not doing music, just, like, <laughs> doing other things. <laughs> so, um, yeah. having to, like, lock to get locked into rooms, it's just like... Stay home. What do you do? Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Stay home, do stuff. Are you going to thank COVID and the uh, liner nuts? Oh, <laughs> some people don't have much to thank it for. That's the thing. <laughs> um, now, uh, I was I, I got a kick out of just being, you know, obviously I work here at K-Rock and we got a bunch yeah. of K-Rock fans here and it's such a long... Thank you, guys. Thank you. Yeah. 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 And uh, you, you guys were talking about, I mean, you definitely uh, kept your humility and it's the rise of your music. You were saying that your music is simple and that uh, it sounds like you trying to sound like the bands you want to sound like, but uh, you never do, or something to that effect, which I got a kick out of. Um, and one of those favorite bands you mentioned is one of the biggest K-Rock bands of all time, is The Cure. Oh, oh. Yeah. 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 They're beautiful. Um, They're beautiful. What, uh, what, what about Robert Smith is just uh, so good to you guys? His voice and his guitar tone and... He's songwriting. His song. All yeah. the, the lot. He's just a cool, cool dude. Yeah. 
It seems I haven't met him, but it seems right. like <laughs> <laughs> great guy. Seems like a nice fella. Um, now uh, on the topic, and uh, we'll end on this before we uh, hand it over to you guys to get ready and, and give us this performance uh, with the new album, the debut album, I should say, February sixteenth. Yeah. Um, is there a song that's not out yet? You know, of course, maybe people in LA really know Sofa King. Is there a song that you're excited for them to hear? Glory to glory. Yeah. Glory, yeah. glory. Glory to the glory. glory. Nice. A, I don't know if many people will like it, but it's my favorite. I reckon. I reckon it's Do you guys agree on that favorite? Yeah. All right. Yeah, I'd say so. Yeah. Well, uh, guys, thank Good. you so I much. Another round of applause for Roy. Thank you so much. Yay! Yeah. 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 Yeah.